Hey guys, Crab Freaks here. Just doing a nice little update on the half water, half land, semi terrestrial brackish water tank. It's got a lot of new tank gear, decorative items, crabs, fish, you name it. I did a big pickup at the store. Pretty much obsessed with making my tank exactly how I wanted it. Uh, as you can see, I've changed gravel colors quite a few times, but I think I found the color I love the best, which is this bright ruby red. And I'll probably be transitioning to that slowly over time. It's a brand new um, aquarium tree that I picked up, but I put it on the land side so that the crabs the red claws, since they can live fully in the forest in the wild, um, I thought they might enjoy climbing on that, as well as that frog branch suction cup to the glass back there. Um, maybe they want to climb and go onto the filter. I know the crabs love the moving water on the filter. Down here, I have two silver mollies that I just bought. Um, I've been doing some research and I found a lot of people that said that mollies can live in brackish water. Mind you, my water is super, super low salinity. Like, I don't even know if you can count it as fully brackish, but I used one tablespoon per gallon and then I added some more fresh water um, for the fish so they could have a slower... There's the red cloud coming down right there, one of the new ones. So anyway, so their transition could be easier. This is an experiment, um, but not, you know, totally uneducated. Like I said, I did some research and I was told they can survive. So I'm hoping for the best. Uh, I love my new Egyptian decor piece. I don't know, it gives it a nice little jungle, ancient ruins vibe. Um, some other creatures I still have in here, of course, are my ghost shrimp. Uh, I just changed the cage, so most of the shrimp are hiding, but they're in there. Um, there's one crab right there. Hanging out by the filter. They love the good flow of water and he's just scavenging on the bottom. Here's a second crab. This is one of the new ones. He's the only one not really moving a lot, so I know he's gonna turn around. He's just a little stressed probably from the move from the pet store to the cage. Um and yeah, overall I love the new vibe of my cage. I actually am finally happy with it. Um, I added a red, supposed to be color enhancing light bulb. So hopefully that will look real nice um, at night time. And I'm definitely going to pick up some fish pellets. That's the only thing. Fish flakes. That's the only thing I forgot at the store today. But they have the crab food they can pick up. But a couple pieces floating around and on the floor for now. And I say that's it. Let me give you a nice overhead view. The tree over on the right have to remember with these crabs they are definitely land crabs so they need plenty of land space climbing space but they also like to stay moist and go in the water so semi-terrestrial brackish is best for the red claw crabs also have two nervite snails in here they're hiding as well I know everyone's getting adjusted to the new tank. So, I hope you love my tank. And see you next time.